Offering personalized items in your Etsy shop could be a great way to start earning income online with Etsy. And Printify made it extremely easy for you to actually add in these customized names right here in Printify. So I want to share with you an update on how you can actually create personalized products on Etsy using Printify and how you can get started today creating multiple listings right here in Printify. I want to share this all with you coming up next. Welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here. My name is Jay and on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now the main platform we're going to use today to help us sell our print on demand products is Printify. Printify has a large category of print on demand products. You can integrate with Etsy and start selling online today. And with their ease of use with adding in customizations with their new design platform, we're able to sell multiple products and still add that personalization that I believe will sell extremely well. Now you can actually use Printify for free, but Printify was so kind to give my audience a discount code to utilize the Printify premium version where you're able to get every single product at a major discount, therefore earning more profit for you in the long run. Now, if you want to check this out on your own, they left down a special code down below for you to get 30 days free using Printify Premium. I'm sure to leave all the details down in my description box below for you to test this out on your own and to see if it is best for your print on demand business. All right, so in our case today, we definitely want to jump over into Printify and start creating our design for a t-shirt. So we head over to t-shirts here and we can select the Bella Plus Canvas 3001 series. Again, this is a unisex t-shirt that can be sold for men and women. So we can go ahead and select this here and we can go here and find our specific print on demand provider. We can go and see additional providers here. The one I like to go to with is Monster Digital as they give a lot of different t-shirt colors, some that are popular for me to sell on my shop. So this is definitely what I want to start off with here. Again, we see the location, the price, the shipping costs and the production time and the area of print that we can actually print on and the size offered. So if everything is good here, I will go ahead and start designing. And once we get to this place here, we'll see some unique changes in regards to how we can actually create some amazing designs right here in the Printify platform itself. Now, again, today's video is specifically creating personalized items. And I think utilizing just this new feature and even how it's laid out will make it extremely easier for us to update our particular designs with that personalization as opposed to going into Canva, making a whole new design, uploading it, and then trying to have it all done here in Printify. Now, again, some of these things have been here for a while, but I do like how they laid this up for us. And just, it really makes it seem like a design studio. If you were in Kittle or Canva, you have all these major things at your disposal for you to utilize for your particular design. So of course we have our upload button here on the side. We have our text our library of different type of files we have already here. The graphics area is still here. We have our templates, some paid content and services. But one of the things that we definitely wanna take note of is this text feature. Again, this has always been here, but again, if you want to create personalized items a little bit easier, I think utilizing some text here would be extremely helpful for us. So before we even add our text here, we definitely want to upload our design here and I'll share with you how easy it is just to add in that personalization to speed up this process so you can get these orders out as quickly as possible. Now, the design that we're going to pull from today is from Creative Fabrica. It is this Lucky Mama shirt. And again, this is great for commercial use and full POD, which is noted here. But what I found to be extremely helpful here is just take a design that's ready for POD usage and adding in some personalizations and some additional things here to make this product stand out even more. So in our example today, we're going to just take this design, being that it's already done, and add in some personalizations here. But if I was utilizing this for a real t-shirt, then I would take some things away from this design here add in some unique elements to add more value to this product and start selling this design online but for our example today let's go ahead and just utilize this for our t-shirt design so from here there's two ways we can actually upload our design to our t-shirt we can go ahead and have a file here where we upload to our design space add to my device or we can find whatever folder our design is in and just simply drag and drop it over into our work area here so that's what i want to do with my design 
I have my t-shirt design here that, that I'm simply going to drop over into my design space. And here we have it. Now, this is a particular design I am going to create for St. Patrick's Day. And again, it says Lucky Mama here. One of the things I talk about often is that if you want your products to sell well on Etsy and especially selling t-shirts, you definitely want to add in some personalization to make your products stand out even more. You definitely want to add in that personalization at the bottom here to add in specific names tied to our specific person that we're selling for. So in this case, we're selling a mama shirt. So obviously we're adding the children's name at the bottom. If this was a grandma shirt, then we added the grandchildren's name at the bottom. But I think just adding in some text here at the bottom, specifically adding in a child's name or children's name is a great way to add in personalization. So we'll do that here. Now, again, typically what would take place is that we would add this design here, just our main design in Canva, and then we'll recreate this design by adding in personalization. We'll download it upload it to Printify to have it shipped out to our customers. And those are some additional steps that we can now skip over and add in that text right here. And the reason for this is because Printify offers a large category of different texts we can actually add to our design. And again, this has always been around, but this is just another way for you to add in a personalization to your designs and speed up the entire process. Now we can go in here and find individual fonts itself. We can go in here to the search bar and type in a specific font that we want to focus on. We can actually scroll over to the side here and see different type of categories in regards to fonts that is, you know, an option for us. But in regards to this design here, what I found to work extremely well is just adding in this type of handwriting font style that I have seen to work well on all of my products. So we can go down here just for our example today. I just want to focus on this design here or this font style here to add into my design and again you can see here that we can have the option to add in our text so we definitely want to do that here with our design now one of the things that is extremely helpful for us in regards to our design here is that we can add in that personalization right in printify itself without going to any external resources for us to actually complete our design for our customer so let's just add in some placeholder names here so we add in james and if I want to add in some more text here, all I have to do is go to add text. And again, go along with that same type of fun style we're going to choose here. And now I can add in another name here. Now, again, the thing that is going to be helpful for us is, again, we can make all the changes here right in the design software itself. The same thing I would do with Kittle or Canva where I will highlight the names so that they can all grow down in the proper size. I can do the same thing here. So we have James and Sharon. And the only thing we're going to do here is add this at the bottom. And I have some additional resources here. If I want to align this up the proper way, I have all these functions here at the top of our design. So again, I can make this center. I can make this larger if I want to here. I can add in some different colors to our text. So say if I want to change this black into a green here, all I have to do is just add in the colors here. If I do have the actual color code, I can add that in to this font style as well. But in our case today, I think we'll stick with the color black. And again, I can line up everything. As you see, everything is dialed in the right way for us to sell our designs here. Now, of course, we can go in a little bit further and actually do all of our creation here right in Printify if I wanna add in some more designs here. So say for instance, if I want to add in something from the heart here and I wanna add just the heart at the bottom, I can copy and paste this design and I have another one here. And I can go ahead and crop this so I can just take in a specific area of my design that I want to focus on. So I hit over to this button crop and I can go down a little bit further. And let's say if I just want to grab this heart here. And that's what I want to focus on. I can just select this heart. And now you can see here we have this heart that we can actually use to fit into our design. So again, just a small way for you to really focus on creating your designs here. If you want to just look at your designs and say, well, how can I speed up my process and really just focus on creating things here? We can definitely take that into account. If I don't, if I want to add this over to the side, I can do that here as well. And again, I can just go here and copy and paste as well. And now we have my other heart here. I can add on the other side. And again, this just gives you that creative opportunity for you to design your products. But the goal here again is just to find a design that works well and adding that personalization to your overall style. So I think everything is well here. Again, the main point here is that you have the option to add in this personalization, but also you have these key features here to truly design right here in 
Printify without utilizing any external resources if you want to just stay here with your personalized items. Now we do have the option here to actually have our designs be placed the proper way. So let's say if I want my text here, James, to go behind the heart, I'll go and find where my text is identified as James, which is the text that we're changing here. I see my design is up front and say if I want that to go behind my heart, then obviously I would take that all the way down to the bottom here. And now as you can see here, our design is in the back part of our heart here. So you definitely have those options to add in some layers to your design. In our case today, we definitely want that to be in the forefront of our design. So we have that here as well. So again, the entire goal here is that when you get a personalized item, you definitely want to find a system that works for you. I know there's a lot of resources out there, but if you just want to stay in Printify and actually create something very quickly to make those customized you know, changes, you can add that here in regards to the text in your design. Now, if I want to preview my design and see what it looks like here, I can head over to preview and I have everything laid out for us to actually see what our design will look like. And as you can see here, all we did was add in that small personalization right here in Printify and even added some additional design changes here to make our product stand out even more. And this right here can actually be a template right in Printify that we can use for other products. So yes, I can save this, but I can go back to my homepage and duplicate this listing that can be an additional product sold to a different customer. Of course, we'll change the names here. We'll add in some more customizations if the customer want that added here with additional names. But again, everything is done here in Printify where we can actually make those design changes and get this uploaded and shipped out to our customers as fast as possible. And as you can see here, even utilizing Printify mockups here, I think our design looks extremely well for us to actually sell on Etsy and start getting some sales on our Etsy listing. And what we have done here by adding in this customization here can be done just not for t-shirts, but for sweatshirts and all of the other products that are sold on Printify by utilizing all of these features here we have on the left hand side to add to our design. So now that I have everything done here, I can actually save this as a draft. And this can be something I upload to a specific product to send out to a customer. Or if I wanna go in here and just utilize this as a template for another product, all I have to do here is hit duplicate and I can go in here and change the title. And let's just say this is a custom shirt for Mary. Then I can go here and save as draft. Then I can go back in and make design changes regarding this product here. And notice how everything is lined up in place for us and whatever that customer wanted us to change, we'll add in some different names here. And let's say if this customer wanted three names for their shirt, all I have to do here is hit duplicate on the top, have my third name here. I'll zoom in for a little bit here so we can see these changes. Then we're adding that change here. So we have that third name here. So now we can move these things around here right in Printify for us to make some space for all of our designs here. And now we have these three names in place, but I think everything is great here just for our example of today to see again, just how easy it is for us to make these customized changes here. And again, we can go here and hit preview, make sure everything is dialed in the right way. Again, we see this shirt again, doing extremely well, added in some different names here. Again, we space out those hearts just to add in those names. So again, we have that option here to add in some difference, even to our design, just not with the text, but even our design as well. And if everything is done with this product, then we will go here and save. And the shirt is already titled Custom Mary Design. Again, I'm not concerned about this part here because this is a customized item. All I want to do is just have my design be changed so I can upload this to a specific customer. So I'll hit Save as Draft. I won't hit Publish because if I hit Publish, it's going to go over to Etsy. This change here is just for this specific customer. So I'll hit Save as Draft. Now I have that custom design all ready to go to upload to that specific customer. So if I head over to my other orders tab here, I can see that I already have some customized orders in place and we can go to our order here. And all it's saying here that I need to select whatever design for this product here. And I will go in here and search up our specific name. And I see my custom Mary design that we have here. And all I have to do here is click on this. It's going to be a white shirt. It's going to be in large. And now I can confirm this design here. And now this design will be tied to this specific custom order that will go out to my customer. So as you can see, selling these personalized items is a great way for you to start selling these type of products on Etsy. And Printify makes it that much easier for you to stay within Printify and make all those customizations 
right here in the platform. Now, if you are new to selling print on demand products and you want to have a step-by-step -step process to actually get your shop up and running with your first listing, I have created a free Etsy course on how to get started with Printify and Etsy. Make sure you check out my link down below. Now, if you want to learn how to create more best-selling designs like this, then click this next video here. And if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.